Hello and welcome to Isan Flix. Today I should take you along with me on a bicycle ride around a sub district of Warren Chamrak district here in Uban Ratatani, Thailand. The sub district is known as Cam Quang. The recent rains have ceased for the time being. We've had a few dry days, but it rained again last night, albeit only light rain, but more rain is forecast for this evening. Situation normal really, as we come towards the end of the official rainy season here in Thailand. However, as you can see, a few puddles here and there, maybe from last night's rain. However, this morning is glorious and the reason I decided to head out on my bicycle rather than my motor scooter. But it's also very warm, but still lovely to cycle around in. As always, not a lot of traffic, which again is situation normal for these parts at this time of the day, mid-morning. Some buffaloes ahead, but uh, I shall turn around as the dirt track lane is rather too muddy for me to cycle through. As you can see, there are a few muddy puddles around and I just don't want to get covered in mud this morning. So I should try and stay on the paved, the concrete roads wherever possible and see where we end up. This area has built up over the years lots of houses and homes built on what were once rice paddies. As I said, fairly quiet neighbourhoods. Well, they are at this time of the day, anyhow. But it's the right time to cycle around and take in the scenery. Well, take a look at the properties that have been built and some are very nice indeed. Therefore, please take the time, sit back, relax, take in the views and the scenery, listen to the music as I cycle along. As you can see, the properties are a mix of traditional and more modern constructions, which is typical and to be found in most suburbs and generally in rural Thailand. The roads, lanes or alleys or whatever they are called, are rather narrow, but sufficient for the traffic in these areas. But one always has to be careful when driving, riding or cycling these, these lanes, as one always needs to be careful of not only the potholes, but be more aware of possible traffic coming towards you as you navigate round and through the bends, as you will never know what to expect. There may be a vehicle or motorcycle coming towards you. There could be a dog laying in the middle of the road. And of course a few ch chickens trying to cross the road right in front of you.
My advice to anyone who wants to ride, drive or cycle around these lanes in rural Thailand is to take it slowly as to avoid any unforeseen accidents. And of course, there is no need to rush anywhere in Isan in particular. Do you think you could live in an area like this or retire to an area like this in Isan? Isan, as I have said before, is not everyone's cup of tea. It is like chalk to the cheese of Bangkok, Patio or Phuket and takes a special type of expat to live or retire here. I have to say I do like living here as I have had my time in Patia and on Phuket and my wife has always wanted to move back here to near, to near where she was born. I would have moved much earlier than we did, but we had to put the children's education first. And at the time, education was lagging behind up here. But uh, that is not the case today. But after a few years in Phuket, we decided now was the time to move. And as they say, the rest is history. There are a few advantages to living here in Warring Chamrat district, but of course, many ex expats would find too many disadvantages. It's all down to what you want and need. At my time of life I do not need much. Well, I could do with some more money, but doesn't everyone these days? My days of drinking and bar hopping are over and I no longer like sitting for hours on the beach or swimming in the sea as I once did with our kids. And besides that, our grandkids come to visit us often and stay with us. Well, they did before Covid of course. And they all enjoy themselves being in a different environment to that of say Phuket or Bangkok. One obvious advantage is what you are now seeing, little to no traffic. But that is not the case everywhere of course, go into town or into the city in early mornings or late afternoons and you will find lots of traffic and occasionally a traffic jam, which incidentally are rare occurrences in urban Rashatani to my knowledge and experiences. We are now approaching a large lake on our left hand side and just past the lake, alongside the lake, is the Cam Quang Sub District Municipality Office and the Cam Quang Health Centre. We'll take a look in a minute.
I believe all the flags are for Chulala Corn Day, which was last Friday and Saturday the 22nd and 23rd of October. It was a public holiday last Friday. It is the Memorial Day of the passing of King Chulala Corn, otherwise known as King Rama V. King Chulala Corn led several major reforms in Thailand, for example the Thai educational systems, the uh, military affairs, state railways and the Slave Liberation Act, to name but a few. We shall turn left into the municipality offices and the health centre complex. Those are the offices and health centre buildings in front of us now. I shall take a, a turn around here, show you the offices and then take a look at the lake. I should stop here and get off my bike. That's the health centre building. We'll just take a quick look around here and then have a look at the lake. As I said earlier, it is a glorious morning. Take a look at the wonderful sky with the beautiful fluffy clouds. Simply beautiful. And you should be able to see the sky reflected onto the water of the lake. Simply stunning in my opinion. That is my trusty bicycle. Isn't that view just beautiful? A perfect location for a health centre, don't you think? As you would see this as you exit the centre and surely this view would make you feel a little bit better.
It certainly is a nice location, in my opinion. Right, I get back on my bike and uh, let's see where we end up. I shall stop here and take another look at the lake. The lake certainly looked beautiful this morning. I don't think you could ask for a better sky. Again, I have to say it, simply beautiful in my opinion. We'll go and take a look across the other side of the road. Then I think I'll wrap this video up as uh, I've been rambling on long enough. I do hope you have enjoyed this video of me cycling around and if you did please give the video a thumbs up share it leave me a comment but better still subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so to ensure you will not miss out on our other videos
I will now get back onto my bicycle and see where we end up. And that I will show you in my next video. So from me, for today, it's uh, a very good bye. Thanks for watching and hope you enjoyed the music. Bye bye.